the right preparation. That's going to get us in trouble. I'll tell you what. Uh, are you Charles Palantine, the candidate? Yes, I am. I'm one of your biggest supporters, you know. I tell everybody that comes in this taxi that they have to vote for you. Why, thank you. Travis? I'm sure you're going to win, sir. Everybody I know is going to vote for you. You know, in fact, I was going to put one of your stickers in my taxi, but, you know, the company said it was against their policy, but they don't know anything, you know? They're a bunch of jerks. Let me tell you something. I have learned more about America from riding in taxi cabs than in all the limos in the country. Oh, yeah? That's true. Can I ask you something, Travis? Sure. What is the one thing about this country that bugs you the most? Well, I don't know. You know, I don't follow political issues that closely, sir. I don't know. Oh, well, there must be something. Well, whatever it is, he should clean up this city here, because this city here is like an open sewer, you know? It's full of filth and scum. And sometimes I can hardly take it. Whatever ever becomes the president should just really clean it up. You know what I mean? Sometimes I go out and I smell it. I get headaches. It's so bad, you know? And they just, like, they just never go away, you know? It's like, I think that the president should just clean up this whole mess here. He should just flush it right down the fucking toilet. Well, uh... I think I know what you mean, Travis. But it's not going to be easy. We're going to have to make some radical changes. Sam straight. Here you go, Travis. Keep the change. Thank you. Nice talking to you, Travis. Nice talking to you, sir. You're a good man. I know you're going to win. Thank you. Thank you.